Good morning to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. The season of Lent is an opportunity for us to return to God, to journey back to God. It is a grace-filled period for us to accept our failings, to accept and confess and return to God with a contrite heart, as the first reading recommends us. One has to wish return to God humble enough to accept that we are fragile and often move away from His grace. The second reading, the Gospel, is asking us to forgive, forgive others. This is what we want God to do for us, to forgive us our sins. Since we stand in need of forgiveness from God, it's the same way our neighbor, the other person, my brother stand in need of forgiveness from me. Therefore means that I have to forgive others who wronged me. Then the grace of God is opened up to me, to me to reconnect back to God and ask his forgiveness. This opens the door for me to enjoy the graces of God in my life. And this also gives the opportunity of the other person to enjoy the grace of God in his life. How many times must I forgive my brother? As much as my brother wrongs me. This is the number of times I have to forgive my brother. My brother cannot be perfect such like that after forgiving him a hundred times, he will not falter. We are all fragile and we all make mistakes. So the season of life advice encourages us and calls us back to admit our sinfulness to God and ask Him of the grace to strengthen us, to able to forgive others as we seek forgiveness from God. So that the grace of God is enough and available for all of us. Remember, to err is human and to forgive is divine. Forgiving others is to allow the image of God in us to be present to others to present in the world and this will make the world a beautiful place. I pray for you and for me that we have a very reflective moment period of Lent. That this Lent will not be like other Lent, but this Lent will be a unique period for us. We don't know if we have other opportunities. This might be our last for some of us. So let's make use of it and go back closer to God. Who is our salvation? God bless us.